This AI writes viral video scripts for you in your tone of voice in minutes. So you can create more content, higher quality, increase your reach and grow your audience. Let me dive in and show you how. Now, I am the biggest skeptic of these AI script writers. I dabbled with ChatGPT for a while and never really liked it, honestly. I always found it easier, faster, and higher quality to simply write the scripts myself. And any other tools I've used have been even worse. Then recently, I stumbled across this tool called Poppy AI. Still full of skepticism, but I constantly am trying to find the best tools for social media so that I can turn them into videos. And so I tried it out anyway, and this one actually proved me wrong. It's helped me research and write engaging videos for myself, for clients, for students, and I'm even setting up a brand new theme page on Instagram using this tool. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how to do it. So the first thing you need to do when you create an account with Poppy is what really sets it apart. You wanna copy any videos, podcasts, and emails of yours into this tool so that it can really get a good understanding of how you speak, what words you use, how your sentences flow, how your content flows, and get to know who you are and, and learn about you through your content. You're gonna group all of this content together and name it My Content then connect it to the chat. Then simply ask the tool, what can you tell me about myself? And then add your name into it, to which it'll show a ton of info that is collected from your videos to then include within your content. You can then even ask it, what have you noticed about how I, and then put your name, speak that differs from other creators? And what this tool will do is it'll give you a list of things that you do and say that is picked up on and will then use when helping you write your content. And if you notice anything is off or wrong or doesn't seem accurate, you can obviously go ahead and correct it. But so far through using this, we've seen it's been really, really detailed and specific. Now from there, you can either go one of two ways with it. You can either ask the AI directly, can you give me five viral video ideas that fit my channel and niche, to which it'll give you some pretty good quality ideas. And I've looked at this myself and asked it for ideas and it's come back with really good ideas or you can come with your own idea and have it help you write it. Now, like I say, I really like the ideas they gave me, but personally, I've only been using this to help me bring my own ideas to life. And so what I've done and what you can do is drag in information for Poppy to then research and turn into a piece of content, either fully scripting it for you or giving you the key points to then script yourself. For example, this YouTube video here about Instagram edits that I made a couple weeks ago, I copied in all the content I could find about this Instagram edits app, which was a video from Adam Mazzeri who runs Instagram, a video from the creators account and screenshots from the Instagram creators carousel post. And I simply asked Poppy to help me create an outline for a YouTube video. What it did is it went through and summarized all the information and gave me an outline of a script in my style and my tone of voice that I could then record. The AI even managed to notice that in the corner of one of the screenshots that Instagram edits exports its content in 4K, which I never even picked up on in the first place when I was researching this video myself. What I really like though is the way that the AI scripts it as if it was me and the word choice, the flow of the video, the pace, the structure, it all sounded like me, which was honestly a little bit scary, but really, really helpful when planning out content. It could tell that I don't do long intros in my content, I keep it brief, and that I not only like to state a point or a feature in a video, but I also like to back it up with a practical use case of how to do it. And you'll notice that within that video, there's constantly like how you implement, how you use it. It picked up on some of my slang words, some of the Kiwi slang words and words that I use often, and it enhanced the script by adding more micro hooks throughout the video to keep people watching longer. Of course, as with any AI tool, you want to then proofread and adjust parts of it as they aren't going to be perfect. But this is as close as I've found to a script writer that actually saves you time rather than delaying the process with all the edits and changes necessary. Now, I also know that some people have been using this tool to have the AI rewrite someone else's viral video in their own tone of voice and change a couple things as they know it's pretty likely to perform well but that's not something personally that I do or would do. However, what you can do instead is use it to repurpose your own content. So if you go out there and you write a weekly email and you wanna repurpose it into a YouTube video or an Instagram reel, 
you can feed that information into the tool and then ask it to repurpose this into a video script because you might be sharing the same information but the structure and the hook and the ending might be different in a video compared to in your email or like we said you can take the youtube video and you can repurpose that information into three short viral reels there's all sorts you can do with it now the one thing you want to be really careful of is when you ask the ai to do research for you that it's really accurate you see when you give it a podcast or a video or a blog or an email or a study and you ask the ai to summarize it for you or pull out the key points is really really good but when you ask it to come up with facts or research on its own without giving it data sometimes it's not the most accurate and you really want to double check this because you don't want to be giving false information now this isn't a fault with poppy but just ai in general whether it's ChatGPT or whether it's claude or whether it's DeepSeek or any of these companies for example a couple of days ago i was trying to use claude ai to help me research some data for a video that i'm producing and i was trying to get it to give me facts and figures around certain topics and whilst it gave me plenty of data i actually found out a lot of it was entirely made up what i gathered is that ai seems to sometimes fill gaps in its understanding with what they think makes sense rather than actual truth they might have a statement here and a statement there and then in the middle they are not sure exactly what fits in there and so they make up with what makes sense rather than what might actually be factual so for example it gave me data for this video that i was planning that said limited time offers on instagram generate 50 percent higher conversions than standard promotions and another fact that it gave me was stories with ending soon receive three times more messages than those that don't but when i then turned around and asked claude where it found this data it said it wasn't actually researched and it simply made up the numbers based on generalizations and so you have to be really careful with this stuff here and make sure if you are getting facts you then check it by asking it like hey where did you get this source from is this accurate and when you push back with that whether you're using chat gpt poppy claude any of these other ai tools it'll then fact check it but you just have to be very careful and that's why it's important that you proofread this stuff before you go ahead and publish it. Now, I've got some really cool videos planned leveraging this tool to do large volumes of research for you. So stay tuned for that, that it will be coming out soon. And I did reach out to Poppy to make this video and they did give me a discount code that gets you like $15 off. So if you wanna dive in and try this tool for yourself, I'll leave a link to it below. You can go check it out. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.